Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my 12JS playlist. So in the last video we talked about a writable store. In this video we are going to talk about readable store. Okay, so we have discussed about derived store, uh, writable store and the readable store is something which we are going to discuss in this particular video. So uh, let's first uh, clean this sandbox and then we will get started. Okay, absolutely. We don't have these components. Okay, it's clear now. So, Swelt also offers a readable function or readable store which allows for creating a readable store whose value cannot be changed or updated from other components. So in the last video, we talked about writable store, whose value, the cart items and the products, we were able to update through other components. But this is a readable store and the values cannot be updated. So what I will do is I will create a simple store. And then we will compare it, how it is different from the others. So it is not exposing that set and update method outside the store. We can update the values inside a store, but only inside a store files. And we are using readable store. So let's say I'm just writing a simple counter and its initial value. Its initial value is met dot uh, method dot random okay this is the initial value and we are creating a simple counter and we will export this so how we are going to do this so it's a readable store we are creating the readable store takes the initial value and then it allows us to pass the set function to update the value maybe in the regular interval or something like that so here we can just create a increment counter and we can call set interval which takes callback and through this callback we can update so this interval is executing in after every second and here we are saying that you are getting new value and we will just do the same match dot floor and uh, match dot random value and then we can just call the set method set method will take new value simple and then what it is going to return it is going to return is the clear interval so this is how the cleanup process happens so we can do clear interval and we can pass this variable increment counter that holds the set interval object instance and here we can do is exports export counter and then you can import this so a simple readable store what we are doing is the readable store takes initial value and provide us a set method that means it is not exposing uh, update and set method to other components so when we import this readable store on other components you cannot do set and update method it internally does it what this function is doing now it is in every second it is going to call this set interval and will render update the new value and now this new value you can render on the ui and subscription and this return which is which get called when you are unsubscribing it means your component whoever is using this readable store is unsubscribing or unmounting okay we can talk about this uh, uh, different examples when we are going to use uh, the readable store because we know writable store and derived store has a particular use case you might have some data which needs to be shared across one comp across different component but the component should not update the values that means let's say i have some share marketing or the marketing data which keeps updating right I am not updating the components are not updating the value it is being updated from the external resource right in that case because what we want we want to fetch the latest and updated value real time 
but components will not be requesting okay give me this data so what we can do is we can use this analogy we can create a readable store where on a particular interval we can call the set method and that set method will update the store object value and that store object value already shared with any other component in the application so let's say i'm going to write another example so we have a readable store and i'm going to simply say uh, let's say I, we are going to fetch some user data okay so we can simply write a one particular store export const user this is a readable store i'm writing and this readable store requires initial data Sorry for the typo. Oh man. Okay, so what we need is we need some IDs. Let's say one, two, three, and we have first name. We have last name. Let's keep it like this. So this is the initial data we have. The readable store we have to pass the initial data, and then it requires a set method. inside set method now there is some kind of api call we wanted to fetch let's say we are going to make an api call to fetch the stock listing and their pricing similarly there can be any other api here i'm going to fetch the the user data so i'm going to do set interval set interval callback and this callback will trigger in every five second and inside this i'm going to do to a fetch call fetch call to some API so this API is just a simple some random name fetcher okay so fetch is going to return with a promise this promise will be resolved and then okay fetch dot then we have to return data dot json we have to serialize it and then we can do a dot then again and we can get the final data dot then i got some let's say user object once i have the user object i can get the data so let's say i have the two properties here first and last and i this is a fake api so how it renders the data from user i can do results it's going to return with array zero dot name okay so const value couple of more attributes let's say the user dot id and all user dot results zero dot id okay and i can say this is the new user after making this api call i have the id which is having this value and first name okay i got the the new user object from this api call and i can do set a uh, new user so what happens after this five seconds we are making a call and we are setting this right and this is all happening inside uh, fetch right so i can also handle it through the catch if something like some error happened then we need we can just do a set null okay we were not able to make an api call we got the error and we are returning this and if everything is fine we can return a callback which will do the clear interval clear interval and pass the, the timer user api interval this is a clean and simple implementation of this uh, readable store which internally after five seconds making a call and updating internally calling this set method and updating the store with the new updated user object now what we need to do is go to your component and pro inside that component we can just render it so let's say i have a component 
or we already have apps felt so i will first include this inside apps felt import user from i have readable dot store dot js and inside template what you can do is simply okay if you see a dollar user or it's a dollar because we don't we don't want it to subscribe it if dollar user not equal equal to null that means we got the data else if if we didn't receive a data we can simply say is uh, rl while loading data if we got the data if it is not null we can simply print the values and values will be dollar user dot first name okay why it is complaining apps felt readable readable store and i'm printing the first name and then also i can print and we will debug this what's the problem with this first name and last name do we see anything could not find module path unexpected token let's reload this and we'll also look into this first name last name id user is an object user dot results results we got the value user dot results id yeah we got it right now after particular seconds it is getting changed so this is what i want to do the demo right internally it is updating the these names in every five second new names and it is happening through the readable store okay so readable store there is a particular use case we are not going to use this on every other occasion of writing the store but yeah on a particular use case when you want to do it real time and internally you wanted to do all these things you can use the readable store okay so this is all about the store now we are moving ahead to the the next topic which is talking about slots how we can create a reusable component by rendering the children's inside a component okay what are the different options in which we can create a reusable components uh, let's uh, let's talk about that in the next video thanks everyone